everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm bringing you another cook with me. So as you can see here, I have a couple of ingredients. I've got some self-rising flour, I've got some Greek yogurt, I've got some sweet and low, and some pumpkin pie spice. So, you know my two culprits here, the self-rising flour and the Greek yogurt is going to be the two ingredient dough. So what I thought I would do is, since pumpkin spice is all the rage, you've guessed it, I'm going to make some pumpkin bagels. Now, I know there are some pumpkin bagels floating around and I've heard they're anywhere between eight and 11 points based on what I've seen. So I thought a couple of three point bagels might be a nice change. So let's just jump right in, get started, and we'll see what we get. This is the first time I'm trying this. I'm just going to wing this one and see how it turns out. I'm hoping it turns out well. I am going to add some sweet and low to the dough. Um, you can use any kind of sweetener that you want. Just make sure that whatever you use, you accommodate for the points. So let's jump in and see what we have. All right. So I have a measuring bowl here. We are going to get... A half cup of flour, I think I'm going to go a little shy on that, just a little shy of a half cup just because of the fact that when I get ready to put my dough down on my counter then I'll have a little extra dough to work with. I've noticed that when I've done this before, I've tried to do equal parts and then I end up using more flour and you really need to adjust the points for that. So we're going to go ahead and grab a spoon here and spoon out some of this Greek yogurt. All right, give that a quick little stir. And then I'm just going to fill up my half cup measuring cup here. And again, I'm just going to go a little shy on this because I don't want the dough to be too, too wet. All right, I'm just going to set that aside and scoop that right in here. So, so far for our ingredients, I have six points worth of flour. Uh, the Hudson cream flour that I'm using, the self-rising flour that I'm using today is six points per half cup. I know there are some out there that you can do five smart points, but I think it's like a gold metal self-rising flour. I can never find that one, so I just use what I have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start mixing this up with my hands. Sometimes I find that's the easiest to do when you're working with dough. Just gonna get that incorporated here. I think this is the times that I should bring out my mixer, my uh, my stand mixer and with the dough hook and then it comes out easier. But for the amount that we're using today, I don't think we need that. All right, so I just about have that together. You can see that just took a couple of minutes. I'm sorry, not even a minute. Probably not even two minutes from the time that I've been on here so far. All right, so I've got that pretty much done. Gonna get some of that extra off in my sink here. All right, still a little sticky. I'm going to add just a little more flour to this. If I use a significant amount, I will um, adjust the points for it. Maybe add an extra point in, but I don't think I'm gonna need that much. Yeah, that did the trick. All right. And you don't want to over mix this. Um, I'm sure you've heard of that before when you're mixing up things like this. You can over mix them and bring them to, you know, just kind of make it tough. Do you guys see what I did there, right? Hold on. I'm just gonna give my hands a quick little rinse. I should have threw the pumpkin pie spice in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. 
I don't think it's really going to make that big of a difference. It probably would have incorporated a little easier had I just put it all in the same at the same time, but I think we're still going to be okay. So I am going to add probably about a half a teaspoon, a little over a half a teaspoon of the pumpkin pie spice. I'm just going to throw some on that side, then I'm going to flip the dough over, and I'm going to throw some on this side. All right, and then I'm going to put in two packets of sweet and low. And again, I do want these a little sweeter. If you don't want them as sweet, don't put as much in. Again, this is your recipe. Do what you want with it. And see, I was talking about not over mixing. Now I'm going to have to over mix a little bit. So hopefully it's not too bad. I think it'll be fine. All right. So I've got that incorporated here. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw. I've got some stuff there. I'm just going to throw that on the counter and just, again, incorporate that. And just so you know, I did wash and disinfect my counters before I started. I'm going to throw just another pinch on each side just to keep it from sticking. All right. I think that's good. All right, I think we saved it. All right, so normally I will just eyeball this, but since I'd like to try to get after it with this batch, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a saucer. And my scale, and I'm gonna see how much of the dough I actually have. So it looks like 6.65 ounces, so I need like 3.3 should be half. Yep, that's good. I find that's a little easier that way just to kind of throw it in there and just see where you're at. All right, so now we're just going to start to shape our bagels. <laughs> These smell divine. That's one. And hopefully you're not getting me too much on camera because I have not done my hair yet. I've still got it up in my little turby. So hopefully you're not seeing that. And if you're not seeing that, I just told on myself. So I figured while these were baking, I could do my hair. All right, so we're just gonna turn the air fryer on now. And we're going to put that at 330 degrees for about 11 to 12 minutes. I'll take a picture of them about halfway through. Actually, I'll take a picture now and show you what they look like. Hold on. I'll just bring you right over. Sorry for the shakiness. All right. And there they are. They look great, don't they? All right, we're going to get those started. 11 minutes on 330 degrees. And we'll see how they turn out. All right, there we go. Are you excited? I know I'm totally excited. Maybe I should grab some tongs. Now grab another plate. I will tell you, my kitchen smells amazing. So let's take a look and see what we have. Oh, look at those. Can you see those? Hold on, look. Don't those look amazing? Look at that. All right, I'm gonna pull one out of here. I'm gonna let it cool for a minute. And then, oh, I almost thought it stuck there for a minute, but it didn't, look. So let's see the other side, look. Amazing. All right, we're gonna let this cool down and then I will um, cut this and, ooh, maybe I'll make some cream cheese to go with this. I have some fat-free cream cheese. Maybe I'll doctor that up and put, make that pumpkin as well. So, all right, stay tuned. Let's let this cool off and see what we get. Okay, well, while we wait, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out two ounces of cream cheese. I'm sorry, one ounce of cream cheese. All 
and listen to my dog eat apparently. All right, so I'm gonna try to get as close to one ounce as we can here. One ounce of cream cheese, of the fat-free cream cheese is only one smart point. All right, I'm at 90.95, that's close enough for me. All right, so we're going to put this aside. And I'm just gonna make this super simple. I'm gonna throw in some pumpkin pie spice. And I'm gonna throw in a little bit of sweet and low. Because most of your flavored cream cheeses are a little sweeter. I'm not gonna put much in there, just enough to, to kind of maybe change the taste a little bit. And then I'm going to take my fork, move this out of the way, take my fork and just start to mix that together. Hopefully I'm still on camera. Oh, that is good. That is really good. So glad I thought about that. I was just gonna put regular cream cheese on it, but that's so much better. Okay, let's wait for that bagel to cool off and then we're going to have this for lunch. It's gonna be four smart points total. It's gonna to be three points for the bagel, one point for the cream cheese. So again, hang tight. Okay, I can't wait any longer. We're just gonna go ahead and cut this baby in half and give it a try. So I'm just gonna try to cut this as best I can. My bagels are always odd shaped. Check that out. Doesn't that look fabulous? Kind of get it in the camera there a little bit more. All right, so now for our cream cheese. I'm gonna definitely get it off that fork. Doesn't that look really, really good? Adding that little bit of sweetener made all the difference in the world. All right, and I probably did not need as much cream cheese as I made, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. Holy cow. Folks, we have a winner. We definitely have a winner. This was absolutely amazing. All right. I'm going to wrap this up. This is really, really good. I hope that you give this a try. I mean, really, give this one a try. I may make another batch and see if I, I might change, maybe add just a little more of the pumpkin pie spice, but I think it's fine where it's at. But wow. Okay, with that said, you all have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, all that jazz. We'll see you next time.